Oh my goodness, it's actually puffing up. Kate! Oh, poor baby! Hello, this is Dr. Tulip. It's, that looks pretty bad. It is. How did that happen? Oh, it was horrible. We were... Oh no! Who do that? Oh my goodness, it's actually puffing up. Kate! Oh, poor baby! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what are we ever gonna do? Okay, we're gonna just call Dr. Tulip right now. Okay, girls, you try to keep her happy while I call Dr. Tulip. Okay. Okay. It's calling him. Oh, let me just... Hello? Yes, this is Renee, and I'm just calling about my daughter, Kate. We have a little emergency, and I was just wondering if I could talk to Dr. Tula. Oh, he's not at the office? Oh, okay, oh, thank you so much. What's going on? Oh, that was just the nurse. She's transferring me to Dr. Tulip. I guess he's not at the office, he's at home. Oh. oh. Can you turn it on the bigger phone so we can hear? Oh, that's a good idea. Let's see. Oh, there he is. Hello, this is Dr. Tulip. Hi, Dr. Tulip. This is Mrs. Kelly. We have a little emergency. Really? Is it clear again? No, it's actually Kate, and she, and she has a burn, just like Clara did, but it's worse. It's actually bubbling. Oh, it sounds like she needs immediate attention. I'm at home with my sick children, but I'll meet you at the ER immediately. Okay, Dr. Tulip. Thank you so much. See you soon. Okay, sounds good. Bye. Did you hear that, girls? Yeah. We need to get going now. Let's go get our jackets on. Okay. Poor Kate. Be yeah, so careful. I got, I, got, I got this wrapped up. Okay. Okay, we've, girls, we've got to get going fast. Christy, here's your coat. Toria, here's yours. Okay. And I'll go get the car seats. Put on your jackets, girls. We need to hurry. Dr. Tulip's meeting us at the emergency room. We need to go away and put that before Dr. Tulip's stores. Mom, why mom? Why Okay, here's the car seats. Let's put the babies in. Here's the other car seat here. Okay, there's the car seats. And here's Claire. Okay. Oh, is Kate okay? Don't try not to bump her berm. We need to try to be so careful about that. Are they in there? And I'll go get some blankies. Okay, here are the blankies for the babies, girls. Wrap them up well. Christy, you can keep the burn outside of the blanket. Okay. Okay, Kate is all ready. Boy, this has been a big day. Yeah. Just be so careful with that burn, Christy. Wrap her up carefully without putting it on that on her right leg. Yes. Perfect. I'm putting that right there. Okay, girls, now that they're um, in their car seats, let's quickly go make their diaper bag and get that ready, okay? Okay. Okay. Oh my goodness. She is in such pain. We have to make sure she stays awake and doesn't fall asleep though. We're keeping um, everything far away from that, but I just checked the weather. And girls, even though it's a sunny day outside, it is freezing cold. I think we better get the babies better bundled because you know, you have to be prepared in cold weather. If your car breaks down or something on the way to the emergency room, we don't want the babies to freeze. So. Let's go ahead and put on all our accessories. Girls, you wanna put on their scarves right now? Toya, put on their scarves quickly. We do need a hurry because they're already buckled in, but we need to make it to the emergency room quickly. Just put it around their necks to keep them warm. I don't have to be careful with her leg. Yeah, no, she's fine. And then we need to put their little shoes on and I'll be so careful about not getting the shoe too close to the burn here. Christy, thank you so much for putting on Claire's mittens. Okay. And let me put um, her sunglasses on. <laughs> because it's still sunny today. It is sunny. Come here. 
Let me, baby. Come here. Mom, I'm gonna have so we've got this. the mittens on. And yes, we keep that away from the burn there. And then we need to put on this the side. hat. Where's the hat? Here's her hat. I'll just put this right over her headband. Isn't this, this is her cute little hat from her advent calendar. Okay. I also have her sunglasses too. There we go. We also need to put on Claire's hat. Can we feed her some puffs? Yes, we'll feed her puffs probably at the doctor's office. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, it feels like we're missing something for her. Sunglasses. Where are her sunglasses? Yeah. They're right here. They're hiding. There. Okay. So we're still being careful with this burn here. And the babies are all tucked in while tucking Clara. Girls, the last thing we need to do is pack their diaper bag. Yeah. Okay, so we have this diaper bag here with a lot of different pouches inside and we need to pack their water bottles. So their new little water bottles. We also need to pack their little bibs. Yeah. And Christy and Toya, can you please fill up their snack containers with puffs? Yeah. Here is the puffs that we have that we'll fill their containers with. Hey, mama. You're welcome. Thank you girls for helping me. These are banana puffs. Yeah. Pretty yummy. So why don't you fill up their containers? Okay, that's good. Now, and can you fill up your container? Yeah. Let's see. Okay, do you need some help? Oh, that's full. Okay, put the lid on that. And then what did you do? Let's throw that in the diaper bag. Throw that in the diaper bag too. Look, I got it all filled. Perfect, good. We want lots of snacks for the babies. Put in the diaper bag. Okay, okay girls, we've got the diaper bag. We've got the babies. Let's go to the car right now. Mom, we need to take the Owen taught us. Toria, I'm so glad you remembered that. Christy, can you go get our advent calendars? Sure. We do. She's crying again. Come on, girls. Let's go. Okay, girls. Thank you so much for hurrying. We finally, guys, made it to the waiting room. And Christy and Toya are just keeping Kate and Clara happy. Toya, how is Kate doing? She's kind of quiet right now. She's Oh, she fell asleep. Poor baby. I hope she's okay. There's the burn still. Yeah. At least she's resting. Sometimes babies are just so tired from the pain and sadness that they fall asleep. We should be called back soon. Yeah. Yeah. Kate Kelly. Oh, that's us. I wonder what's the matter with Kate this time. I wonder how she got that burn. Hopefully she's doing okay. I'm sure we can take care of her. We were able to help Clara, so I'm sure we'll be able to help Kate. Dr. Tulip, thank you so much for so much for meeting us at the emergency room today. As you can see here, Dr. Tulip, do you see how it's bubbling right there oh, wow. on her leg? Yes. That looks pretty bad. It is. Okay. How did that happen? Oh, it was horrible. We were working on a craft project with a hot glue gun and we had it set up high and she crawled over and pulled it down because the cord was hanging down. She just, oh, I just lost track. I just I'm feel so bad. Oh, don't worry about it. This happens and we can help her. We can take oh, care of this. Oh goodness, look at how awful that looks. Yeah, I know we can treat this. Okay, so what do I need to, what do we need to do? Do you want to move the car seat and I can set her down? Oh yes, there we go. Oh, she's awake now. She fell asleep on the way here. Okay, the first thing we'll do is check her vitals. We're going to see how she's doing in every area and make sure she's not starting to get an infection or anything like that. Okay. Toria, do you remember the last time you were here I showed you how to use the thermometer? Yeah. Would you like to help me take her temperature this time? Yeah. Okay, that's about enough time. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, it looks a little bit on the warm side, so I think she does have a fever, which is not unusual for these sorts of things. So we'll want to make sure we take care of that and treat her appropriately for those symptoms. Christy, do you remember last time you were here and I showed you how to use this? Yeah. Do you remember what that's called? Um, a stethoscope. A stethoscope. Do you remember what that's used for? The heart and lungs. That's right. Would you like to help listen to her heart and lungs? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
How does it sound? Good. Listen to her back as well, to her lungs. We sound like you're blowing out a candle. Okay, I'm glad we checked her over. It looks like overall she's in good health. We just want to make sure, obviously, that we treat this burn and that we take care of her little fever. Ooh, why is Clara fussing? Oh, I wonder if she wants her snacks. Yeah, and her bib. Okay, let's see here. Christy, here's the diaper bag. Do you want to feed her her little puffs? Yeah. Okay, see her bottle and her bib. Do you have Kate's puffs? I can feed that to her while Dr. Yeah. Tulip checks her over. Thank yeah. you so much. Oh, good. Is Claire enjoying the puffs? Yeah. Thank you, Christy. I'll go give Kate hers. Dr. Tulip, do you mind if Tori feeds Kate a little snack while you work with her? No, that sounds great. Okay, Tori, you want to feed her some puffs? Yeah. She's. It's about her snack time. I know she's really hungry. She's being so brave. Yeah. Okay. okay, now we need to start working on this burn. I have a little pad that I'm going to put over it. And that should help soothe her a little bit and it should help in the healing process as well. What type of pad is that, Dr. Tulip? Well, it's a special burn treatment pad that we find helps a lot in these types of situations. It helps prevent infection and it also helps give the body the opportunity to heal itself from these types of wounds and burns. I'll send you home with a couple of them. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. And these are special drops for when burns bubble like that. It's a different kind of medicine than what I gave Clara because her burn was a different type of burn. This one right here is actually a second degree burn. We're just going to put a couple of drops on it, enough to basically cover the whole area of the burn. And is this something, Dr. Tulip, that we'll do at home for Clara? Well, yes, I would recommend using this twice a day, once in the morning and once in the evening before bedtime. Okay. Oh, she's a little bit sad. Should we give her a ibuprofen also, Dr. Tula, like we did Claire, if she gets sad? Yes, absolutely. That's a good idea to help relieve her pain. Okay. Oh, Dr. Tula, I just have to say, I feel so awful that I've had two babies get burned in one month. My other children never got burned. I just feel so awful about that. Oh, don't even worry about it, Mrs. Kelly. I do have this chart with some safety related advice. You know, it just never seemed quite as necessary to do this when we just had single babies, but with twins, they're really keeping me busy. Oh, that's totally understandable. Okay. And so I'll send you home with this and these drops. Okay, and I'll administer these twice a day. Yes, as I mentioned, I would recommend using a couple of these okay. pads for the next few days. Okay, perfect. And um, I so appreciate you, Dr. Tulip, coming and helping us with this. I know you had to leave your family to come to the ER. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Just be sure to keep her resting and let me know if any of her symptoms change. But other than that, she should be fine. Okay, Dr. Tulip. Thank you, Dr. Tulip. I so appreciate you taking this seriously and coming, leaving home to come take care of little Kate. You're very welcome. I'm glad we came into the emergency room to treat this immediately. Oh, so I'll start buckling them in now. Yeah, I can feed them now. You can help me. Yeah, I can feed them now. Toria, have you been able to watch some of the Emily and Dolls channel videos like we talked about last time you were here? Yes. Good. Have you been enjoying those? Yeah. My daughters always enjoy watching those videos. Me too. This is a flower with Emily. Those friends what's their video. I'll get them start tucked in to go home. Now, Mrs. Kelly, I was yes. wondering if your family has plans for tomorrow evening. Hmm. That's a good question. Christy, do you remember anything that's going on tomorrow evening? Obviously, we'll be giving Kate her medicine. Open our advent calendar. Oh, that's right. Uh, yeah, Dr. Tulip, just putting medicine on Kate and opening up our advent calendars. Okay, great. Well, there is a really neat light show in town called oh. Illuminations at Botanica. Oh, I think I've heard of that. Yes, and I actually have some tickets that they gave to our office that I'm wanting to give you for your family to attend tomorrow, if you'd like to do that. We were going to go, but unfortunately my children are all sick. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm sure we would love that, Dr. Tulip. All right. Well, wow. there you go. Wow, thank you. You're welcome. There are seven of them, so wow. your husband and you and your children, Christy and Toria, Emma, Kate and Clara could all go together. Oh, 
Dr. Tulip, you're so kind. My husband will be so thrilled. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy it. Well, you I enjoyed going there in past years. I will stick that in my diaper bag. Very good. Well, this has been way better than I could have anticipated. So we're just going to get these little babies home. Sounds great. Make sure they get enough rest. Okay. Thanks so much, Dr. Tulip. You're welcome, Mrs. Kelly. Girls, how are the babies doing back there? Good. Mommy, can we open that house on our home? That's a great idea, girls. Why don't you? Yay. Where's the 19th? Hmm. How was Claire's burn back there, Christy? Is she okay? Yeah. Is that the 19th? Yes. <gasps> Let's open it up. Uh. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Who do that? It's empty. We got a problem. What's the matter? It's empty. Oh, okay. Well, let me stop the car and I'll come help you. Okay. So what's going on back here? Uh, um, it's, it's empty. Yeah. It's empty? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, how unusual. Maybe it's in there. Do you think it fell out? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me just peek around in here. Oh, it looks like... Okay, let me reach my hand in here and see if I can find what's going on. <gasps> oh, what? It looks like something slipped down. Let me move it to the right spot. Okay, I think it's in there now. Okay. You want to open it up? Yeah. What is it? Wow! It's a unicorn. It's a unicorn what? It's a unicorn bracelet. It looks like the sister. Let me fix Clara's for you. See if I can fix it. <gasps> yep, I feel something. It just slipped down. There, now it should be back in its spot. Oh, my is a unicorn. It's a unicorn necklace? Yeah. Wow. Do you want me to open it for you? Yeah. Okay. There it is. Oh, my. We have two necklaces. One is a hat, one is a unicorn. Fancy little necklace or bracelet for you. Yeah. Oh, my. I love it. Do you love it? Mm -hmm. I think little Clara will too, although she's tuckered out after that doctor trip. That is pretty special. Let's take a peek at it. So friends, this is a collab with the Emily and Dolls channel, but I think she opened this already on a different day. So you'll have to go to her channel and see what she opens up today on December 19th. But today our twins got this cute little unicorn. Christy, let's look at yours. Oh, that is so cute. Hey, she's tuckered out, but I think she'll just love that. Well girls, should we put that in the diaper bags and let them wear that tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, they know what to use it. Yes, okay, and they'll get to wear that tomorrow. Here you go, Christy. Perfect, they'll look so cute in those tomorrow. Hopefully she'll be feeling better. We'll keep you updated. Well, should we head back home now? Yeah. And rest the rest yeah. of the day? It's been an eventful day, hasn't it? Yeah, and tomorrow we get to look forward to going to Illuminations with the twins and putting lots of medicine on baby Kate. Poor little Kate. Thanks guys so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.